So I have a whole bunch of these Wet n Wild products. So I'm going to kind of, I don't know, I guess, I have, honestly, I've never tried any of these before. I actually tried a little bit of the foundation one day, but other than that, I haven't tried anything else. So this is going to be my first impressions. And I'm going to tell you if I like these products or not. I know they're so affordable. So let's just get into the video and start this. Okay, the first product I'm going in is with this new foundation. And I've gotten some questions about this foundation, if I've tried it before, if I found it in Canada. So this is the new Wet n Wild. It's the... Photo Focus Foundation, and the color that I was given is Soft Ivory Light Warm. So I think it's a little bit light for me, but I don't care. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put it on my face. So I saw what I like about this is it is a spatula kind of looking um, applicator, which I find is better than just having nothing and having to pour it. So I do like this better than that. The texture is definitely a little bit more runnier than, um, it's not thick, it's a, definitely a runny texture. So all I did before this video started is I just put on some of this um, Argan Oil from Physician's Formula just because I had to take off makeup that I already had on so my makeup was all, like my face was all irritated and it was kind of dehydrated so I just piled that on. I'm also getting a nice zit right here. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to... Definitely too light for me, but again, for the purpose of this video, I don't care. I'm basic. I'm, go I'm going nowhere. I'm staying home, so it doesn't matter. So I just applied it, and now I'm going to use a wet sponge, because that's what I normally use, and I'm going to just dab it into the skin. So first impressions, obviously, it's a little bit too light for me. It looks better in person, actually. It looks really light on camera, I guess, because of the lights. But I definitely need a shade up. Um, it is definitely thin texture. It is not full coverage. So, I don't know. Definitely thin. I feel like it is kind of showing the texture of my skin a little bit more than a normal foundation would. I'm just going to take a tiny bit more. And I'm just going to focus it on the areas where I find I'm a little bit red right now. <clears throat> my skin type is combination I'm not dry so here's up close it definitely looks still skin like it's definitely a thin texture um, I find it kind of just accentuates the texture a little bit around here more than other foundations would for me but it's not too bad but definitely, I wish I had the right shade. This is a tiny bit too light. Okay, next I'm going to try the concealer. So this is the Photo Focus Concealer. This color is in medium peach. So this is darker than my, <laughs> than my foundation that I have on right now. So I don't know how this is going to work. So the applicator is just your wand kind of applicator tip. This is the color. This is going to be too dark for me. Well, it'd probably be okay, but because the foundation is so light, it's kind of like... So it's a kind of like a peachy color. I don't know how this is going to work, <laughs> but I'm going to make it work. Okay, so you don't, I find you don't get a lot, like a lot doesn't come off the brush. Okay, I'm just going to start to blend this in. I need one shade lighter in the concealer. The opposite problem I have with the foundation. But blending, I can make, we can make it work. You can make it work if you just really blend. The concealer is not bad. It's definitely not my favorite concealer. Um, it also doesn't help that I have a little bit darker of a shade. But I feel like it does an okay job at concealing. But if I was going to buy a drugstore concealer, I feel like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is definitely better than this one. I also like how everything in here has the bunny symbol. It's cruelty free so you don't feel bad when using products. So this is their contour. It's just called the Makeup Stick Contour. Um, this is what the contour shade looks like. Definitely bronzy, orangey. It's not ash. It's more of the warm side. 
So I'm just gonna contour like normal. It's feeling kind of thick when I just applied it. Let's hope for the best. I'm gonna just kind of blend it in using the same sponge. So this is blending out amazingly, like uh, amazingly. Easy, seamlessly, so easy. I wish it was a little bit cooler in color, a little bit more ash. Um, this to me is almost like a bronze, um, kind of comparable to the Chanel Soleil Tan, the, that kind of same idea. But it is blending like seamless, it was effortless. I thought it might be blotchy just because of the texture, but to me, it's not blotchy and it's blending out super easy. Like, this is really nice. So far, this is my favorite thing that I've tried so far. So, this contour thing is, it's really, really, really nice. Like, I actually really like it. Really impressed. Can't believe how easy that blended, honestly. So good. <clears throat> so, next I have the Photo Focus. It is the Warm Beige Powder. So the packaging is really sleek, it kind of reminds me of the MAC uh, Mineral Skin Finish. This is the color 824 Warm Beige. Has like a yellowy um, tanned undertone. Let's see, it feels really silky when I touch it with my finger. Like super silky. So I'm gonna take a powder brush. I'm noticing that a lot of the product is not coming off, like it's not super powdery, which is nice. Well, this powder seems actually super nice. Really nice, and the quality seems really good too. It's not like that chalky powder. I only have a couple more new products from them. Okay, so I don't have any Wet n Wild blush, but I'm just gonna apply the Essence Silky Touch Blush. This is in the color 30, Secret It Girl. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on, and then I'm gonna try the new highlighting powder. Okay, so the next product I'm going to try is probably the most exciting product to me in this whole collection. This is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Are you ready for this? I haven't even touched it yet. I've been dying to touch it. How beautiful is this? So it's like a peachy pink shimmer highlighter. I don't even want to touch it because I just ruined it. But anyways, I just touched it for the sake of YouTube. So I'll show you my hand what this highlighter looks like that top one there so this is not really a traditional highlight this is kind of to me like a, a luminizing blush so I'm not really gonna take it on the very tops of my cheekbones I'm gonna focus it more in the center just to give it that nice glow so there is a little bit of like it's a little bit powdery but not like crazy powdery so I'm just gonna use it kind of like in the middle of my cheek oh yeah that's so nice so this is more to me like almost like a a blush kind of like a topper for a blush rather than a highlighter unless you were super tan this probably would look all right if you were really tanned um, but if you are not super tan this is probably gonna be a little bit funny so I would keep this down more on the um, rounds of the cheek as almost like a shimmery blush this is in the color uh, crown of my canopy I think that they they have other colors but this one is number three two two crown of my Canopy. Don't really understand that uh, name at all. Don't get it. I'm also going to dust a little bit of that highlighter underneath the eye here. I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lash line. I have two lip options. Um, so the first one they gave is the gel lip balm. It says it is just a pout, it's called, this one's called Rule. 
and it's the first of its kind. It's a gel lip balm, specially formulated with vitamin E, avocado oil, and a gel complex to deliver innovation with the ultimate performance and comfort. So here is this color called Rule. Wow, I'm actually a little bit impressed with this. This kind of reminds me of the Maybelline, uh, you know, the baby lips, but better. It's a little bit more pigmented and the texture to me is a lot more smoother. The taste of it's really nice and the color is super pretty. It's a little bit harder to get like a precise application just because it's a little bit of fat tip. And then the other lip product I have is their, <clears throat> is called Missy and Fierce. It is their Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. I don't even want to take this purple off. It's so cute. Um, so sitting here like with it on my lips, it kind of tastes like butter, like actual butter. And I love, I love butter. Like love butter. So this is tasting really good to me. I'm just gonna pat it off a bit. Guys, this is so freaking pigmented. Like this is. So nice. I don't know what the retail on this is, but I know it's cheap and this is amazing. One swipe, it is fully pigmented. It goes on so nicely. It's not patchy. This color is absolutely beautiful. And actually the applicator is really nice. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like, um, it has a doe foot, but it has an indentation, so it kind of hugs the lip really nicely. I want every color. I actually can't believe it. Like, I own lots of high-end lip colors, liquid lip colors, and I don't know if this lasts all day. I don't know the deal, but as of right now, this is so freaking nice. <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be my finished look using pretty much all Wet n Wild products. Um, I've never really used any Wet n Wild products before and I'm so impressed, like impressed. So let's just go over the products. <clears throat> the foundation is definitely, um, it was too light for me. I have the color I Soft Ivory, I should've got one up. The coverage on it is definitely like a light to medium coverage, it's definitely not full coverage. Um, I find it did show a little bit of the texture in my skin, but for a cheaper foundation, it's not that bad. I do like the applicator, how it's a little, like, wand kind of thing, um, but it's not bad. It's not, like, obviously it's not my favorite foundation for drugstore, but it's not too bad. Uh, then I went in with the concealer. The concealer was definitely the wrong color for me, again. Um, it was too dark. Uh, I had the color medium peach. The coverage on it is okay. It's not the best, I, I, it's not the best. So I don't, I'm not loving the concealer. I found it didn't really have that, the best coverage on it. So I probably would not recommend this. The contour stick is amazing. Um, it's more of like a bronzy color, but the way this blends is, it's, it's beautiful. For a cheap contour stick, pick this up, try this out. I wonder if they have any other shade, I'm not too sure, but this is called Oaks on You. And if they have one that's an ashier shade, I'd be so interested in trying that. But this blends like a dream and it looks so natural on the face. So love this. Then the powder, the powder you could tell is definitely good quality. Um, it set my foundation really nice. There wasn't a lot of fallout when I swirled my brush in it. And it's super, super, super soft when you touch it. It's so, so silky. It's definitely, in my opinion, a translucent powder. It's not like, to me, like, it's not gonna give you a ton of coverage. I think this is just better to set your face with, but it went on super nice. And then this is definitely another one of my absolute favorites in this collection, this highlighting powder, crown of my canopy. Um, I definitely wouldn't use this on my skin tone as a highlighter, but it looks really nice on top of a blush, kind of focus more in the center here. Uh, if you are a tan skin, this is gonna look so nice on you if you're tanned. Like, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. I think they have a lighter shade that I probably will never get my hands on because it'll probably be sold out for a lifetime. But if I could get my hands on the lighter one, I definitely would purchase it. And then the two lip products, 
They are both so good. So this Pout and Rule gel color, it is amazing. Like it's amazing. So it goes on so creamy, so pigmented, the feeling's amazing, the, the texture, the consistency, everything about it is that good. And it tastes like butter. So, you know, you can feel like you're having so many calories, but you're really not. And then, this freaking liquid lipstick, like, uh, yeah, it is, like, look, it's hardly transferring. Tiny bit of transfer, not, like, too much at all. The color is so beautiful. This is the Missy and Fierce. It is it's spectacular. Like, if I could find every shade of these, I would buy them. I know that they're cheap. And they're really comfortable and they're not too drying. I hope you enjoyed this video on my first impressions on the new Wet n Wild collection. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.